everyone, my name is Ashley Rodriguez and today I'm going to be talking to you about climate change and humans. Um, just a 411, I've been sick so if I start coughing, I put some water over here but I don't want to have to re-record this 500 times and I've already done it a few times. So we're just going to go for it and hope for it the best. <clears throat> okay, so again we're going to be talking about climate change and how it affects mankind. So first we're going to talk about how climate change affects human beings. So the way that, that climate works is it is actually ran by our, it's called an earth system um, or waterway. Um, Water basically controls the climate. Um, so when we kind of disrupt to that cycle, it affects not only water and the climates, but it affects us as well, because obviously we need water to survive and um, we need air quality to be good and we need air to survive, right? And oxygen. So as climate change happens, um, it actually worsens right here, worsens air and water quality. Uh, this happens because CO2, the amount of CO2 in the air actually can't catch up with the amount of oxygen, so there's no stabilization, and it brings the quality of both our air and our water down, making it difficult for Earth systems to kind of keep up with the balance that's created between nature. Yeah, so let me get a little bit more into that. So everything just in general seeks balance, right? So whenever you disrupt that balance, obviously one way or another, it's gonna seek to find some type of balance. And we can kind of see that in our own lives. So we can see that in nature. We can see that in the way things grow or die or everything, right? So. Keep that in mind whenever you think about climate change because the things that we do ultimately are going to come back at us in a different way. So that's kind of like the basis around <clears throat> climate. So as we get more into it, you'll understand a little bit more. Um, the other way that it affects human beings is it increases the spread of certain diseases. So take COVID for example. Um, disease in general or bacteria tends to live in dark, um, moist areas per se. <laughs> so when things become drier and the balance gets disrupted pretty much of our body, um, that's what makes us more vulnerable. So that's why whenever COVID happened, a lot of people that were more frail and sick and had other issues, they were the first, you know what I mean, to really be affected and are still really being affected by COVID, right? Where the people that are more middle-aged and more healthy and they don't really have any type of health conditions, they're a little, I don't want to say safer, but they're kind of safer, right? <clears throat> At least according to statistics. I'm trying to not start coughing, sorry. Um, so if you think about it, it just kind of makes sense that whenever climate change actually affects the spread of diseases because it gives them, it makes us more vulnerable, right? Because when our body's not used to the climate, we're acclimated to the normal. And then whenever everything's all not balanced, then that gives other entities the opportunity to kind of delve in and attack our immune system pretty much. <clears throat> um, the other thing that climate change affects is uh, an increase in extreme weather conditions. Now, this one has been going on for the last few years, I would say, ever since the since uh, since climate change. I guess climate change, it's always been a thing, but like it's really increased in the last couple of years, right? So, uh, but that's just kind of due to our own. <laughs> Um, which we're going to get into in another slide, but 
but the extreme weather you know things that happen with the weather is basically again disrupting the earth system of its water its waterway you know what i mean yeah you get precipitation you get the cold you know what i mean clouds that are going to block everything and whenever that's disrupted and there's nowhere for the water to go or there's too much water absorbed then we can't we can no longer find or predict you know what i mean how the weather is going to go so the earth can't either if that makes sense so if you think that we can't do it neither can the earth so there you go um <clears throat> i hope that kind of came across correctly it did in my mind but i don't know if my words came out right so okay so now we're going to move on to how climate change affects national economy okay so everybody always thinks that climate change affects nature and that you know it doesn't really have anything to do with us but in all honesty it has everything to do with us because we are part of the earth it's our home it's our planet you know what i mean we're all kind of interconnected so on that note while it does affect the earth and everything else I mean, think about it. We're, our houses are built on homes, which brings me to my first point. Our houses are built on, our homes are built on land, which brings me to my first point. So whenever climate change happens, obviously we have all these crazy erratic weather things that are going on. <clears throat> and it's gonna cause damage to properties and critical infrastructures um, that are important for us to survive. You know what I mean? We need a home. You think about, I mean, just recently, there was snow in Southern California. That never happens. And so for something like that, to, it shows that there is a traumatic, something is really going on, right? And, but we aren't prepared for that. I mean, some places are totally ready for the snow and other places are not. California is not, it's never been a big snowing place except for in the mountains, you know what I mean? But those people are prepared so that being said uh, whenever there's damage to properties and critical infrastructures the government has to obviously fix them which means it comes out of our taxes which in the long run just beats us down right or it doesn't come out of our taxes and then we have a whole new problem uh, the next thing that it affects sorry i'm trying to not cough is um, our health and productivity. Um, so you can kind of see, I mean, climate change is happening big time right now. So whenever, I'm trying to think of how to word this. You have to kind of look at the full picture of the whole entire thing to understand because like health, again, going back to COVID, like, I mean, is that really something that was caused particularly by climate change? No, but did it acclimate with climate change? Yes, because again, emissions are made, CO2 is bad for us. There's lots of things that are in the air. Um, productivity also, we already don't have enough money for our healthcare systems and people don't wanna work. Nobody wants to work in the harsh conditions. You know what I mean? So this is gonna cause our productivity to go down as well. There's also a decrease in agriculture and forestry, forestry and fishery economy because the severe weather conditions are causing damage pretty much to agriculture, to forestry. We have droughts, we can't, um, walk, you know, we can't give enough water to our fruits and vegetables, which honestly, I mean, here in California, agriculture is a huge thing for Central California, which is where I'm from. And without that, like that's a lot of people's livelihood again. And it's also, you know what I mean? It's our economy, <laughs> um, forestry and fisheries, you know, needing wood, having enough fish, things to, you know what I mean, that we can sell and send off to other countries or across the nation, or it's all pretty much interlinked. Next, we're going to talk about how climate, where are you? How climate change affects global economy. 
So again, we're going back to reduces productivity, which I kind of just went over. Pretty much, you got to think about it as, yeah, um, the you know, the more damage there is done to the earth and the land, you know what I mean, is either going to be an increase in needing people or it's going to be a decrease in needing people. So like if our agriculture and farms are doing bad, what happens? We have to get rid of workers, you know what I mean? They go jobless. It all kind of intertwines together. Um, there's also going to be an increase in inflation, which means prices are going to go up because guess what? Things are more scarce, you know? Instead of having 100 orange trees, I now only have 10. So I only have enough product to serve a certain amount as opposed to the whenever I had 100 orange trees, right? So whoever wants to pay the most for oranges, there you go. <laughs> You're the one that's going to be the winner and you're going to contribute to inflation, but it's going to happen anyway. There's nothing that we can really do about that until things kind of, until we figure out a solution to climate change, pretty much. And that is something that it takes all of us to do. Um, the last thing is it weakens income and spending. Again, if you're spending $100 on a bag of oranges instead of $10 on a bag of oranges, that's less you get to spend, right? That's less that's going out into other um, fields. <laughs> I don't know. I know fields is the right word. <clears throat> but that's less that's going out into other, into multiple pockets instead of just one, right? So, of course, our income's going to, our income's going to decrease a little bit and we're going to not spend as much because now we have to worry about like, Hey, do I have enough to put food on my table? Do I have enough to pay rent? As opposed to, hey, can I pay all of that and go to Disneyland? Again, it's one of the cycling things. A lot of people talk about um, shopping small businesses and everything, right? But like in reality right now, shopping the bigger businesses is what's really going to make it so you can, you know what I mean? Move forward with life pretty much. And just to make it through the hard times. So, anyway, that's what it is. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my references here. Boy, come on. What are you doing? Uh, there we go. All right, references. I'm not really good at this slide just stuff. <laughs> uh, there you go. So those are my references, and I'm going to head and head out of here and go have a coffee and fit. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.